Hey, what's up, fellas? You already know what it is. It's Mr. Goodbread, and you now watching the Mr. and Mrs. Goodbread show. All right, y'all, so it's question and answer day. One of my guys, they asked me how to deal with women that constantly ask you for money. Like, So already I know that this is a guy that deal with women. He deal with 71% women, probably the it girls, probably the fans only women. But um, in any event, he deal with the women that they make him pay. They... All right, so y'all check out the intro, and when we come back, we gonna get into this. Disclaimer, I'm not talking about all women. You know what I mean? We, we know we got 71% that I don't give a goddamn about. And we got the 29%. So those are my 29%. Don't don't get triggered. Don't get offended. You know what I mean? But in any event, um, my guy, it sounds like it sounds like you're dealing with women that is taking the indoctrination of what's pushed in the media and pushed in society today. You know what I mean? And what's been programmed through what she saw in her house. So all you got to do, guy, you know, and you know what else that is? That means that, all that means is you, she see value in you that you don't see in yourself. You know what I mean? And you give it to her because that's what you've been trained to and you've been programmed with. You've been programmed to treat women nice, do this, do that, and be a simp, be a simp, be a simp. You know what I mean? And then you got the, the society, like I said, and social media, just everything, just, you, you know what I mean? And your neurological system is programmed to just, that's what you're supposed to do to get a feeling of satisfaction and a feeling of love and a feeling of being wanted. Key thing, you know what I mean? That love word, guys. Love is not existent. That's only in the matrix. <laughs> People in the matrix play that, you know what I mean? Outside of the matrix, those of you that watch this channel, I want y'all to replace the love word for respect, all right? The feeling of being in love. You can love, right? But the feeling of being in, in love is the exact equivalent to being drunk, all right? And you see, you can drink, right? People drink, people drink, and they, and they, and they be fine. But when people is drunk, it's looked at as a bad thing. You know what I mean? Because why? You can hurt yourself and you begin to hurt others, right? So you can love, but once you begin to fall in love, that is a bad thing because you can do what? You can hurt yourself or you can hurt others. So you want the respect all the time, respect. Don't even play the love game, guys. All you want, all you need is a woman to respect you. You don't need a woman to love you, all right, guys? Say it, say it again. Respect me. You don't have to love me. You know what I mean? Women, you got to understand. I'm not going to say women are incapable of loving. The nature in women are incapable of loving, and that's due to hypergamy. Naturally, women are hypergamous, and that's do the nature. That's God. God, we guys can't be mad at that. If we get mad at a woman being hypergamous, then we have only God to get mad at. We can only get God mad at God, and we don't want to do that. You know what I mean? That is built in them, designed in them for the nourishment of them babies. You know what I mean? It's a reason why the women have um breast milk. The reason why women produce breast milk and we don't like. You know what I mean? We we are really animals. Like, we're just domesticated. You know what I mean? And a lot of women got to get over that. Like, a lot of women, they, they harp on that. You know what I mean? And they got to get over that. You know what I mean? It is what it is, guys. Embrace it rather than try to fight against it. Because the fight against it is what leads to your depressions and your confusion and, and all of that. Embracing it 
Like, man, what the hell? Let's get it. It is what it is. I did that. Let's get it. You know what I mean? Embracing it, oof, man, it's a whole new life, man. It's a, with or without a man. You know what I mean? You don't need a man if you're going to embrace it. Because if you're embracing it, then somehow, some way or another, you done came to your creator like, done. I'm done with that old way. You know what I mean? But fighting against it, you know what I mean? And then bringing up King James and all this craziness, that right there is going to leave the leave women confused. You know what I mean? So ultimately, God, not to go off course, you want to deal with 29% women. You want to deal with more practical women. So you noticing that she's asking you for money. So that's a red flag that she's a 71% female. You know what I mean? You deserve more than just transactional love. You know what I mean? You deserve way more than just transactional love. You're not going to get to take it to the top with just transactional love. You know what I mean? You got to get her to invest in you, sir. Tell her you broke one time and see how she act. That's how you do that. You got to pull back. You got to pull back. Know your worth and pull back. You know what I mean? Know your worth. Don't know your thirst. That's it. Remember that. Know your worth. Get rid of the thirst. All right? Because that's thirsty. You know what I mean? That's all. And you know she keep asking you for money. So if she keep asking you for money, it's a problem there, sir. You know what I mean? Y'all supposed to be building together. That's supposed to be building together. Like, that's how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be an exchange of energy. But in any way, I ain't going to drag it. That's under five minutes. You know what I mean? What to do if a girl keep asking you for money. You know what I mean? Pull back, sir. Don't be thirsty. You know what I mean? Recognize that it is not love that you want. You not paying for love. You paying for respect. And respect is supposed to be earned and given. All right, God? Know that.